In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can onboard Windows machines in your environment onto Azure Arc. To connect machines to Azure Arc, you can perform a set of steps manually, or you can use an automated method by running a template script that you can even get from the Azure portal. The script will download and install the agent on your Windows machine. To complete the Azure Connected Machine agent deployment, you will need admin level access on the Windows operating system. For this demo, I will use the Azure portal, where as you can see, I will need to select Add Existing Infrastructure, Servers, and now I'm going to be prompted for the resource details. In here, I need to provide a subscription, a resource group, and the server details. I will need to select an Azure region, the operating system that we're working with, and if your environment uses a proxy server for outbound data connectivity, you can also specify here the URL. Then we will need to provide tags, for example, business unit, marketing. Let's click download and run the script. We can copy it. And now we will run this template on the operating system with admin level access. Let's close this and execute the commands. Now I am logged in into the Windows machine that I want to onboard onto Azure Arc. In this case, it's running in Google Cloud Platform. All that's left to do is to run the template script that we got from the portal. For demo purposes, I am going to be running each command one step at a time. First, we will need to download the Azure Arc machine agent. So we have now downloaded the package. Now we need to install it. And for that, we have this command right here. After the installation is complete, we will need to run the connect command. After we run the connect command, we will be prompted to log in to a specific URL and provide this code that you see here. Let's copy it and access this URL with a browser. From the browser, we access the URL and we're prompted for the code that we just copied. Now we will need to log in to an Azure account. And after we have successfully signed in, we will have an Azure Arc enabled server. Let's go back to the operating system so we can see the results. Back on the Windows machine, we can verify that we have successfully onboarded this server and we can verify that from the Azure portal. As you can see, we have now a new Azure Arc enabled server that is mapped to the resource group location and subscription that we provided during the onboarding process. You can even see that we have the tags that we created during the creation of the template script that we use for onboarding. Now this resource is part of ARM, so you can manage it through traditional Azure constructs like applying tags, policies, and organizing these resources into resource group, subscriptions, and locations. By onboarding services into Azure Arc, you can develop cloud native practices through Azure Common Tooling like you would with any Azure native resource. Thank you.